Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. I am sharing my third update for the Disney Animation Project Pan. This is a collab with the Fantastic Ladies group on Facebook, which I will leave linked down below as always. The dates of this project are June 15th through November 21st, and this is, I believe, our third update. So let me go ahead and jump on in and show you the progress that I have made this month. First off, for the character the genie, I chose this Sephora eyeliner in the shade My Boyfriend's Jeans. And I have used this several times. I was, uh, I did have to sharpen it this month as well. So I know that I'm getting a little bit of use on it, although it is hard to tell. Um, I will try to remember to put in a picture of where I was last time because I have forgotten to mark this on a piece of paper. But like I said, I am getting a little bit of use out of it. The next product is for the character Tinkerbell, and I had finished off my product for Tinkerbell last month, so I went ahead and put in a new product. This is the Pixie Corrector, Pixie for Tinkerbell, um, and this is in the shade Awakening Apricot. I did have um, quite a bit of use on this prior to putting it in this project, and so I have used it a few times since then. It's not my favorite, but it does work fine, and I've actually started layering it with a different concealer as well, this one to correct, and then the other one sort of more to match my skin tone, so I am finding that I am using it a little bit more often uh, now that I've got kind of a cocktail. Next, for the movie Finding Dory, I since Dory is the forgetful one, I wanted to put in something that I forget to use, and this is now my third update where I'm showing you I have forgotten to use this lavender cuticle oil. Um, I won't belabor the point because nothing really to show here. For the character of the Lion King, I put in this Not Your Mother's Leave-In Conditioner, and I had mentioned last month that I had yet to use it, so what I had started to do was I started using it every few days when I wasn't using the oil that I put in my hair, and I actually really like it. It's got a nice scent, and I do feel like it is conditioning, particularly to um, the ends of my hair. I didn't mark it, but I'm about it feels like I'm right about here. So like I said, I am uh, starting to use it and I am enjoying it. Next I have this e.l.f. duo and I've got a different character for each of these shades. This bronzer shade here is my Pocahontas shade and then this honey colored shade is my Winnie the Pooh shade. And I do have quite a bit of progress. I had a little bit of progress last month, but you couldn't really see anything. I'm hoping that you can see now I feel like I'm just about to hit pan in each of these shades. I'm not sure if that is coming across, but I hope that it is. Um, next, for Jessica Rabbit in the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit, I have the Bite uh, Crayon in Red Velvet. And again, I will try to put in a picture here of where I was last time. Although I know I've got good progress on this one, I have been using this quite a bit, mostly um, mostly when I film videos. I'm not wearing it this morning, but um, I have been trying to wear this quite often because um, the Bite products, you know, they don't last very long and I do really enjoy it. So I am trying to use it up before it goes bad. Next, for 101 Dalmatians, I was trying to find a product that had black and white spots, and all I could find were these black and white stripes. So that'll suffice for me. This is the Lottie London um, Translucent Setting Powder, and you can see my progress here. I am down to this last set of lines here. That's where I am. These setting powders, they just don't go very quickly. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish this by the end of the product, but if I don't, or sorry, by the end of the project, um, but if I don't finish it by the end of the project, then I would like to finish it by the end of the year. The next movie was The Three Caballeros, and for that I had chosen three mascaras. The first one I finished a couple of months ago. The second one is this L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, and I'm using it. I don't care for it. I will not buy another mascara primer, but um, this one is still going. And then the third one is this Tarte Gifted, and this one is just about on its last legs. I can still use it. It's not getting super thick, but it is... I feel like starting to turn just a little bit, so this one will probably be finished by my next update. And finally, for the character of Sleeping Beauty, I have this Origins Nitamins, um, 
it's just kind of a, a nighttime moisturizer and I have been using this one. I don't use it every night because I don't do my skincare routine every night. So I am still right about here at this line here. Um, kind of the line that goes under the tree. That's about where I am and that's pretty close to the same progress that I had last month So um, this is another one. I'm not sure if I will finish but it is a good product and I do enjoy it I just you know kind of need to take time out to actually use it so guys, that is everything that I have for the Disney Animation Project Pan. No empties to show you this month, but some good progress I feel like. So let me know if you're doing this project as well. I'd love to come and cheer you on and watch your video. And let me know if you're doing another uh, Project Pan video as well, because I'm always curious what's you know kind of circulating out there. So thanks so much for joining me. Hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.